Number 1 Nunu's Mediterranean Cafe Lebanese cuisine on the prairie predates Oklahoma statehood. Nunu's Mediterranean is a distillation of that heritage with a few new tricks. The patio is an ideal spot for a tenderloin kebab and a bottle of Lebanese wine. Number 2 The Hut on Avondale Once known as the Coach House, which for three decades was the local standard bearer for culinary excellence and fine dining, the Hutch on Avondale has gradually shaken off the weight of its ancestry. Chef David Henry, a graduate of the Coach House's vaunted apprenticeship program, cooks through the same classic French lens, but he has traded in linen tablecloths in Dover Sole for an inspired high-low mashup of dining traditions. Number 3 Sushi Nico Sushi Nico became one of the city's hottest spots in the late 1990s by staying a step ahead, as with its serendipitous decision in 2018 to install a sidewalk dining space, where overhead heaters and unique masonry booths offer protection in the colder months. Number 4 VZD's Restaurant and Bar By converting its parking lot along Western Avenue into an outdoor dining room and bar, this legendary music venue gave itself a lifeline through the pandemic. Now Chef Eric Smith's broad menu covers classic burgers, sandwiches, and an eclectic mix of entrees like pad thai, beef stroganoff, and vegetarian Frito chili pie. Number 5 Burger Punk Just before the pandemic, this former burger truck graduated into a full-on burger emporium where Turbos, the signature coffee slushy cocktail, flow freely on the turf-covered deck. Among the loaded burgers is The Clash, which mixes cheese, fried onions, jalapenos, hoisin mayo, and nacho cheese Doritos. Number 6 Frida For the past two years, the chic, modern Frida has provided a platform for chef Quinn Carroll's interpretation of Southwest cuisine, from queso fundido to short rib empanadas with pepita-crusted chili relleno in between. Number 7 Pizzeria Gusto a wood-burning pizza oven at the center of Chef Catherine Mathis's kitchen churns out Neapolitan pies topped with specialties like butternut squash, lamb sausage, and soppressata, to name a few. Meanwhile, small plates like burrata, roasted carrots and fennel tossed in harissa, and steamed mussels are especially satisfying when paired with the inventive menu of standard and seasonal craft cocktails. Number 8 Social Deck Plus Dining this outdoor dining oasis between the shadows of the plaza district and uptown boasts two patios, one covered in the front and one open in the back, along with a menu made for brunching in the sun. Patio diners can share an eclectic array of buttermilk biscuits, hummus, and a burrata board, paired with a house cocktail like the floral, vodka-based club social. Number 9 Florence's Restaurant Florence's has been an institution since 1952, but it wasn't until the pandemic that the restaurant opened a brand new front porch for outdoor dining. The eponymous founder, Florence Jones Kemp, and her daughter, Victoria Kemp, cook fried chicken, candied yams, and braised oxtail from scratch, and they bake dinner rolls and cornbread daily too. Number 10 Stella Modern Italian Cuisine With its picture windows looking out on downtown, Stella has long been popular with guests, but a relatively new patio proved a great investment through the pandemic. Now, with Chef Chris McKenna back in the kitchen, Midtown diners have flocked to the outdoor seating area to enjoy cocktails with their Roman-style pizzas, wild boar bolognese, and lamb shank osobuco. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.